Hi, I'm Jenny Tomes, and this little lesson is presented by Port St. Lucie Utility Systems, connected to the community since 1994. Today, we are focusing on one of my favorite co-workers, the microorganism. We're going to talk about how wastewater is treated and how those little guys help us clean it up. But first, what is wastewater? Wastewater is any kind of used water that leaves your house. So wastewater is anything that's flushed down the toilet, that goes down the drain as you're taking a shower, that leaves your dishwasher, that leaves your washing machine. That's all wastewater and it all enters into our sewer system through a pipe that looks like this. So total, our sewer system is about a thousand miles long. So underground pipe about a thousand miles long, all leading to one of our two wastewater treatment plants. So just to give you an idea, our wastewater treatment plants can treat 18 million gallons of wastewater a day. That would be like filling up 360 thousand bathtubs with wastewater. So that's a tremendously huge amount of wastewater. All right. What's really cool, even though it's called wastewater, we actually don't waste any of it. So we're going to talk about that in a minute. But first, let's talk about the things that you should not flush. So things like socks, you should not flush socks or washcloths or diapers or towels, anything like that, that kind of stuff will absolutely cause a clog. If not on your end, it will cause some problems, right, out there underground in one of those thousand miles of pipe, all right, or it could cause a problem once it reaches the wastewater treatment plant. So keep that kind of stuff out of the sewer system. Also, things like cotton balls. Keep those out. Bathroom items, this stuff can go in the garbage. There's no reason to flush this down the toilet. Q-tips, same thing. Dental floss, anything like that. Don't flush that down the toilet. Just throw it in the garbage. And then kids out there, make sure you're not flushing your toys, even if they're a little bitty. Things like Legos, Barbie doll shoes. I know it's cool and fun to make stuff disappear, but flushing it down the toilet, you're just going to contribute to future clogs. So keep your toys out of the toilet, okay? All right, so don't flush that stuff. And if your fish dies and you want to flush it, it's not like Nemo. It's not going to go to the ocean and, and be reunited with its family. It's going to go to the wastewater treatment plant. Okay. And I'm going to show you what that looks like here in a moment. So, all right. So there you go. So what can you flush? You can flush the three P's, which are pee, poop, and paper. When I say paper, I mean toilet paper. I don't mean paper towels or construction paper. I mean toilet paper because that's going to break down really easily once it's in water. Okay. All right. Now what about, what about flushable wipes? Even if they say flushable, don't flush them. This is on the no flush list. This thing is thick and it will not break down anytime soon. Flushable wipes will absolutely positively cause clogs. So don't flush those either. All right, back to our three Ps. You can absolutely flush poop, right? All right, so I've got lots of poop here. We're going to flush that. Lots of poop. We're going to flush that. My assistant is going to help with the third P, which is P. P. Very nice. All right, so there's my wastewater treatment plant. So go ahead and flush the P. It's already starting. Come on. Flush that pee. Perfect. Very nice. It's a lot of pee. Get all that pee. I drank a lot of water today. All right. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. So now we are at the wastewater treatment plant. All right. So here we go. First order of business. We have to get the trash out. Remember I said just throw it in the garbage can because you know where it ends up eventually? Even if you flush it, it ends up in the landfill. All right, so here's my dumpster. We're gonna get out all the trash. So we're gonna get the sock out, okay? We're gonna get the, the wipes out. We're gonna get the Q-tips out and the cotton balls. Gotta get all that stuff out, put it in the dumpster. What else is in there? Ooh, we've got our fish. Sorry, Nemo. You're going in the trash, buddy. Going in the trash. Got our Barbie doll shoe, right? Get all that trash out. So that goes in the dumpster and it goes to the landfill. Now we're left with just the liquids and the solids, the poop, okay? So this is my favorite part. So this is where the microorganisms come into play. All right, I'm gonna put this down. 
All right. So microorganisms feast on the nutrients that are in that wastewater. That's their number one job. That's all they do. That's what they were born to do is feast on those nutrients. Okay. So here's my first one. So this is a rotifer. So this is what a rotifer looks like under a microscope. And then I have a little, a little toy stuffed animal version of a rotifer. Now you're going to notice on these guys, they don't have hands. So how are they going to eat all those nutrients? Well, they use this stuff around here. It's almost like mouth fingers, if you will, that help them grab and just feed themselves all the nutrients that they find in the wastewater, okay? So very, very important part of the treatment system. It's our little rotifer here. All right, so if you thought he was cute, wait till you see the next one. All right, here's my favorite. Sorry, rotifer. Look at him. Is he precious? That's a tardigrade. So I'm even wearing him on my shirt. So tardigrade, his nickname is a water bear. Look how super duper cute he is. Now this is a tough cookie. This guy would survive on the moon, in lava, in the freezer. I mean, this guy just lives for these nutrients and you just can't kill this thing. All right. So he is feasting on those nutrients. So helpful. But when you eat a big meal, you get tired, right? You want to take a little nap. So that's what happens. So our microorganisms feast and feast and feast and feast and feast, but then they get tired. So they kind of settle to the bottom. They have a little nap, right? So once they're all fresh and rejuvenated, they wake up, right? Now their bellies are empty again. So then they get sent back to the beginning and the process starts all over again. So that's all these guys do. That's their life. They just eat the nutrients and sleep. What a life, huh? I want that job. Mm, just kidding. I don't. All right, let's put those down. All right, so now we're left with the liquid and the solids. So this is fun too. All right, so all the solids get separated out and they go into a sludge tank. So let me grab my sludge tank, take the lid off. All right, so now all the poo goes into the sludge tank. Now the poo are actually very, very wet, okay? Because they've been in all that wastewater. So we have to dewater the poo. So remember I said that none of it is wasted? The poo actually goes somewhere. And I'll tell you about that in a sec. So we have to dewater all the poo. So we spin them around really quick, dry them out. All of that liquid sort of flows down to the bottom, and then you're left with the dewater poo. And then a truck comes. Let me grab my truck here. So my truck comes because it wants that poo. And then the truck loads up the poop, loads it all up. There we go. Boy, that is a big load. <laughs> it's overflowing. All right. So that truck actually takes the poo to a composting facility. So then it's used for compost, things like agriculture, right? Helping plants grow, all right? So that's where all the poo goes. Isn't that great? It's not wasted at all. It actually gets used. All right, so that's our poo journey. That's where that goes. So now we're left with just the liquid. So the liquid is gonna go through another filter, which is gonna remove all those fine particles, right? But then as you can see, it still has some color to it. We need to make it completely clear, so we need to disinfect it, right? So put a little chlorine in it, we're gonna disinfect it, right? So once it's disinfected, see, looks cleaner already, right? A little cloudy, it gets clean, it gets clear. So this ends up going to some of our customers who actually use it for irrigation. So any of our customers who have like community green spaces in their neighborhood or golf courses, here's my little sprinkler. So that disinfected, highly treated wastewater is used for watering lawns, golf courses, and green spaces, flowers, landscaping. It doesn't get wasted. So whatever water we have left over, that's called reuse water because we're reusing it. So whatever reuse water we have left over, that doesn't get used for irrigation actually gets sent down a deep injection well, enters the earth deep, deep, deep underground, and then eventually, due to pressure, will rise back up 
and enter into those aquifers and water tables and the whole process starts all over again. So cool. We are true environmentalists here at Port St. Lucie Utility Systems and again, nothing gets wasted. It all gets used. So next time you flush, think about the journey. Think about the journey that that flushed item goes on, right? Also think about what you should not flush, okay? All right, if you have any feedback about today's little lesson, if you have any questions, if you want to tell me a story about anything, please let me know. Just give me an email at jtomes at cityofpsl.com. I would love to hear from you. Again, jtomes at cityofpsl.com. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.